And it also seems like that's the way, when you think about how kids interact with data, the question that I asked about, do your kids know more about technology? This idea of seamless connectivity, when a kid gets up on a computer, when my son gets up on a system, I notice how he interacts with the environment. And he interacts with the environment with total assurance because he's grown up with it. Mm -hmm. Whereas you and I and other folks in the, the audience that happen to be as old as us, which is hard to believe, mm -hmm. saw the analog transfer. We were dealing with rote, we were dealing with this, we were dealing with mechanics. And now these kids are dealing with cyberspace. So what's the, what's the issue that you see here? Because you see the problems of the disconnect with kids and education. And you compare that with what happens in the corporate space, which is where your environment comes in. And where do you see the differences between public education and the corporate sector in terms of how teachers deal with students? Well, uh yeah, the, the qualification is I have spent my entire career in corporate education. Uh, so I deal exclusively with adults. I deal with people in a context of work. Uh, and the measures of success are relatively clear cut and mm -hmm. straightforward. You can right. do the job or you can't do the job. Uh, so there's a, there's a basic difference in that the educator in my world is roughly a contemporary of most of the people that they're working right. with. Right. Uh, there is less inherent power structure associated with the relationship. Okay. Uh, and because business organizations have to respond to these accelerants, these deltas in change, mm -hmm. much more than public education institutions, because we're completely connected through P&Ls and mm -hmm. that kind of, and business requirements. Right. Uh, right. We have to respond very quickly to these kinds of business drivers, which is what right. we would call them. Uh, and I think what that does, as, as Bob noted, we're just at the point where the hockey stick starts to curve. So people I work with, already recognize that this, we're going over the edge of a cliff. Yes. Very yes. rapidly. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, we have an imperative in order to make good on the charter we're given by the organizations that we work for to adjust to those circumstances. We, we have no insulation right. between right. us and the outside world. Uh, so instructional design models are changing. The relationship between the educator and the student is changing, uh, and it has to change very rapidly, yep. uh, almost overnight, in response to these right. drivers. Well, the whole we don't have to get to 2027. No, no, for this to become. No, I think the 2027. We can start getting there around 2012, because one of the questions that that I would ask would be. How much impact and how much inquiry do students have on their education? How much, you know, like you as students, you as parents, you as administrators, that question of, because kids are connected. They really understand what's going on in the intuitive fashion of how you work with technology. At the same time, teachers have the experience as guides of providing the fundamentals. Do you see in the corporate sector the idea of self-directed learning? The idea of, I need to keep up with my job if I'm going to stay relevant. And does that have applicability in your mind of how kids could be taught a self-directed learning starting at a very early age? Do you see parallels? Well, I think I see parallels. I think, A, I'm not competent to talk about public education, qua public education. Right, My, right. my, my competence is in corporate performance No, I support. understand. But uh, it's what I will say is that there is increasingly a gap between, I hate to use the term product, but it's the term that people will use. So the product that comes out of the public education system is increasingly ill-suited to the demands of right. corporate education. Okay. Corporate education is quite rapidly becoming radically self-directed. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I was just, before I came here, the last four days were at a large corporate learning conference in Florida. 
uh, which I go to so that I can uh, kind of reality check my ideas so I make sure I don't go down some rabbit hole. Uh, and in fact, it was surprising this year in particular, there was a really large degree of agreement that top-down instructional models are just not working and won't work and are increasingly ill-suited mm -hmm. to the corporate educational right. initiatives. Now, how do the teachers in the corporate space, because in the public space, you have limitations of budget, you have limitations in terms of just how much research that a, that a teacher can do or how much an administrator can spend on getting teachers up to snuff and dealing with technology. How do the teachers in the corporate environment stay up to snuff in their particular disciplines? We don't. So you're always constantly doing one of these deals. We, we don't. We don't think of it as top-down education much. I mean, we're talking about trends that are emerging, right. not realities right, right. now, but right. five years from now, I will tell you what it will be like. Okay. We don't assume that the instructor knows more than the student. Okay. okay. Our job increasingly becomes editorial. Right. So we collect a toolkit. Okay. Which okay. is appropriately organized so that the student has uh, available to them the resources that they need. Okay, okay. The student is closer to the problem. Yeah. The student is much more aware of their own strengths and weaknesses and skills. Mm -hmm. By the time you take a volatile business problem and percolate it up through an instructional design model and then back down through a delivery model, the problem's already gone. You either you sank or you swam before you even right. threw the life preserver out there. Right. So I think increasingly what we're looking to do, and which frankly we should be getting more of from the public education yes. sector, are people who have the skills required to teach themselves and to identify their own problems and to understand how to navigate that instructional space, if you will. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the job of people like me is to put the resources there, right. to manage things like back-end infrastructure, learning right. management systems and the like, to be available as coaches when appropriate, and to get out of the way. 